compared to this time last year, it does thank seem you for as the yeah, it's a, thank you for, thanks for coming on. Um, it does seem that the mood music has really changed in Japan. Do you think it has, and if so, why? So I think it, it's. I think it really depends on how sustainable it is, but I believe that there are um, certain figures that show that it's sustainable. And I think the mood in Japan is, is changed, and I think the deflationary uh, times that we've experienced for so long that people are more optimistic than they were before. What are you seeing in terms of just flows overall? I mean, you know, obviously there's been so much talk about where this equity rally sits now, the Warren Buffett effect here. I mean, how long do you think this can actually mm -hmm. sustain, Heiko? So it really depends on how our figures, especially how um, the wage increases are sustainable. And I think behind the wage increases, we need to see a more, more mobile labor force and a more diverse workforce. And I think the, 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 the arrows are pointing in the right way so that it will become sustainable and then we will see growth. But you know, people have to be incentivized here, and institutions are going to be, have to be key to do that, Keiko. So what needs to be done if you do, as you say, try and make this sustainable in a more granular way? So I, first of all, I think that the labor force, which tends to be pretty, um, I would say that there was not so much labor mobility um, in a good way. And that's absolutely necessary for us to uh, attract international talent as well. And that will, like the TCMC that is coming to Kumamoto from Taiwan, that wages will increase. And also because of the total lack of diversity in our workforce, that has been a really big issue. So the government is addressing it, the stock exchange is exec um, addressing it, and I think the corporates, um, I've been in Japan working for Daiwa for over 30 years, um, and we've slowly, slowly improved. We're not catching up the with the world right now, but I can see that corporate Japan is actually moving. And I think that's an absolute necessity to see real growth in Japan. Hmm. Um, obviously, there's a lot of questions about what the BOJ is going to do. Um, the bond market certainly has gone a yeah. lot livelier, Keiko. I'm just wondering, there's a lot of Japanese government bond dealers mm -hmm. that are in high demand mm -hmm. uh, among brokerages here right now. Are you looking yeah. at expanding some of your JGB dealers? So I think the Bank of Japan so far, um, with the new governor, has been very good um, in communicating um, what they're thinking, which is, um, uh, it's, which is an eye-opener because it has been very different for the past, um, a, a long time for now. And as the, the bond market normalizes, um, I think there will be more interest, especially when there, there's actually positive numbers on interest rates. Um, and there would be a global um, interest as well. And that also means that there will be room for ourselves and, and for other uh, investment banks to expand and that will be uh, chasing uh, talent. Um, so I'm very, uh, very confident about the direction of where our fixed income is going.